Hey, how's it going? My name is Ben, and right now we are inside my 1976 Airstream Argosy. I completed this renovation about a month ago. I was working on it for about uh, eight months, and then I've been living in it since then. Um, this was my first time to do any kind of trailer renovation. Um, it was has been a really amazing project, uh, a lot of personal growth definitely had to happen uh, to bring it to completion, to bring it where it is. Um, and I was also super inspired by a lot of different videos, a lot of things that people had posted online. So I thought I might throw in my own sort of two cents and show you guys what I did, talk about some of the processes I used. Um, just a couple other details about the renovation. Uh, it's not really designed for travel. It's more designed uh, as a fixed location trailer, tiny home type th situation. Um, it can move. I did a lot of work on the frame and it, all the lights, I, all the systems would work for travel, but kind of the way I built out the shelving and just different choices that I made um, probably wouldn't be the best if you were just traveling all the time. So just so you know, it's more of a fixed location trailer that I'll, I'll move occasionally. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look around. Thank you. next to the shop that I was working on the trailer in. Um, a lot has been done to the frame, but not a lot cosmetically. Um, I took it down to the bones and grind it off, polish the, the frame, took apart basically everything, redid a lot of rivets, and detached the shell from the frame um, in order to replace the subfloor etc etc so basically a full monty type renovation but i've not painted the exterior and there's some kind of sloppy caulking and stuff that i did uh, that i want to clean up later but uh, for the most part it's done on the outside it's watertight you can see i've got my propane takes there um, and yeah i you know put in some fans on the top but yeah just a lot of ceiling a lot of redoing uh, and a lot of putting, pulling apart and putting back together. So anyways, without spending too much time on that, let me go ahead and take you guys inside. So right as we come in, got a little magazine rack um, and my fold out counter, little magazine rack, but that's from the original trailer. And then coming inside, you can see here the front where I have my kind of studio space. So I knew at the outset of doing this project that I wanted to have a recording and workspace here at the front of the trailer. I'm just living in it by myself. I do music production, so it was important to me to have a nice work area. Um, I built out these end caps and did all the interior, replaced all the interior painting, paneling with eighth inch birch plywood um, that I riveted um, either to itself or to the ribs of the trailer. Now, if we come in, you can see I used a kind of um, rivet with a large washer head on it uh, to really grip the wood well and it kind of looks similar. It's a pop rivet, obviously it's not a buck rivet, but um, it looks similar kind of aesthetically to the rivets that are on the outside of the trailer. So I didn't try to hide my fasteners at all. Um, I just went ahead and riveted it all together. And underneath, um, as I'll be showing you uh, in some pictures, I did um, rigid foam insulation, redid the wiring, did a lot of sealing uh, on the underside of this plywood. Um, because I did rigid foam insulation, I had to put the outlets 
and light switches away from the wall because there wasn't quite enough room. So you'll notice as we go around that these, all my electrical stuff is taking out, taken out about a half inch away from the wall. But yeah, this is the front area. It's a really wonderful workspace. Um, can't wait to put more plants there. Love plants. As we kind of rotate, you can see that this is sort of my breakfast area. There's my refrigerator. Um, and this is where I do have my meals. It can be like a prep area. Um, one side, you just sit on the couch. The other side, you sit in this architect's chair. Um, yeah, I love this table. And you can see here what I did with the frames. This was, of course, these are normally painted white, but I sanded them down and just like the way that bare aluminum looks. Um, right here, let's see, it's really bright. Right here, you can see that I've got a skylight. This is where the fridge vent actually used to be. And I just screwed a piece of plexi to that vent opening and added a skylight to my Argosy. But yeah, the uh, breakfast area is really, or the kind of uh, eating area is really nice. I spend a lot of time at this table. Now, coming over here, we've got the kitchen, um, the kitchen cabinet, everything in the trailer I built out myself, custom, um, and I put a lot of time into the kitchen cabinet. I love cooking, so I wanted the, the kitchen to be super functional. Uh, that's the original stove uh, from the 70s. It's a really great stove. I just painted it, and it's been uh, super functional. Love, love the way it works. Um, I did this video, you know, after I've been living, living in it for a while. And so, but I kind of didn't clean up all the way because I kind of wanted it to have a little bit of the lived in look, what it actually like, what it actually looks like when you live inside of it, um, rather than just like a total promotional video. Anyways, right here is, yeah, fold out counter, um, which is super useful. That's kind of like my prep station. Um, then over here, just actually the original sink and um, faucet um, work fine. Up here, I've got some original shelves that, that I just painted. And I put a little elastic band decal around the edge to kind of update them. Um, these things work great. I love that they hook so that the thing stays open. And they just drop back down. Super great. Um, and yeah, some big drawers down in here. You can never have too many drawers. Um, but yeah, very functional kitchen. I spent a lot of time on it, but I've made, already made uh, many meals here. So it's been great. Um, over here, I've got a couch that I built out. Um, when I started the renovation, I didn't quite know exactly what I was going to put in this space. I knew kind of the front and the back. I knew I wanted side bath, but I didn't know uh, what would actually end up going here. And then as I kind of built it out, I realized I definitely wanted a couch here, just a chill space, a uh, place to socialize when friends come over and kind of like a transition area between the kind of workspace and the bedroom space. And so, yeah, I actually really love this couch. Um, kind of just built it out of pieces of wood that I had lying around basically um, and it's got really deep shelves to go all the way to the wall uh, for storing my heater all kinds of stuff is down in there so yeah um, my mom did the upholstery on the Sun Pendleton fabric really love it over here I've got some inset shelving that I did uh, this is just all uh, more birch plywood uh, with a um, mixture of uh, varnish, tongue oil, and linseed oil as the finish. A uh, little light switch here. And this is actually the original sliding door, um, which I obviously repainted. And yeah, I'm going to open that and take a look inside the bathroom. So the bathroom is one continuous coat 
of rubber. I use a product called Rubberize It and it works really well. So I did, I framed this whole thing out in wood, basically, um, and then sealed it, you know, caulked it, and then um, applied this rubberized paint uh, using various techniques. I won't get too heavy into all of that on this video. Then I put some shelving in here um, and then down here, we have a composting toilet, the separate villa. It's like a full-size toilet, um, works super well, separates solids and liquids. Um, I, I really love this toilet. I'm super glad that I went ahead and got a good one, <laughs> a good composting toilet. Um, I'm sure there's other nice ones, uh, Nature's Head and everything, but the separate works extremely well, no smell at all. Um, and I love that it separates solids and liquids. The liquids just go to your gray tank. The solids go into a bag that you never see and that you have to empty once a month. There's no sawdust or anything. Uh, it's just always venting through there. That, that, that vent goes out through the top of the trailer. So super nice system. And then coming around here, there's just a big, big counter all the way across. And then my shower and shower head and shower pan. And the shower curtain wraps all the way around kind of keep the water contained whenever you're taking a shower. Um, and then I've got shower valve and adjustment coming out the top of the counter on the side there. Um, really love the shower. It's really functional. It's big enough even for two people um, to stand in. So, and it feels really open because it's just bathrooms all one thing. But obviously the original bathroom was not located um, on the side, so it was quite a lot of work. This was probably the hardest thing to build out on uh, the entire trailer. And I didn't plan it very well either, because as you can see, it's kind of notched there. Uh, normally something wouldn't, that wall would not come out that far um, in like a normal trailer design, but I was not paying attention uh, when I was planning this all out. And I didn't realize that if I took the wall out that far, it would block the AC vent. So I went ahead and notched the wall to have room for the AC vent. AC vent still does not have a cover, but it is the original AC and blows super cold uh, and blows a lot of air. Very cool. Um, and then, yeah. So we move back here, We've got some plants. Close that door. And got drawer down here, big drawer. And Let's see, beyond these curtains is, yeah, the bedroom, which is, I don't know if it's my favorite space. I love all the spaces, but I love this bedroom. So this is the bedroom. It is, yeah, where the bathroom used to be. I put the bed about three and a half feet off the ground. So you kind of have to really climb in here um, but once you're in there, it's kind of its own little world. There's some inset shelves there. Uh, this is original light fixture that I put, uh, redid with a maple veneer on it. Um, and then if you come around this way, dresser, uh, and then a TV slash VCR combo that I had from childhood. I've been watching a lot of VHSs in here. It's been really great. And yeah, more wood paneling, same idea as the front, just all birch plywood uh, with a finish on it. And then a window, which I like, it's kind of at bed level. So you kind of, it's very cozy in here, uh, a lot of light, um, and it feels like a really separate space from the rest of the trailer, which was really important to me if I'm gonna be using it as sort of a house. The sleeping area needs to feel not provisional at all. Um, so yeah, it was, it's a really beautiful space. Um, love it in here. All right. Now that's pretty much the trailer. There's a million different things that I could basically talk about forever, but uh, in a nutshell, that's the tour. Um, 
definitely feel free to ask me any questions and comments or whatever. And yeah, I would love to potentially do another one. So, you know, get at me, talk to me if you want to. And thanks for watching.